I'm picking your brain on things there. I just remembered you were part of the residency admissions committee at Georgetown. Mm -hmm. So you had a chance right. to go My through last year. Last, yeah, yeah, you had a chance to go through applications, meet the residents. This COVID-19 pandemic has really shaken things up a bit. Everything. I think the AUPO and the SF match I was just reading are going to make it so that one, all interviews are virtual. Two, people can't have more than 20 interviews for the season. And three, they can only have like 1 a.m. and 1 p.m. I think if, unless you don't have a department or of ophthalmology at your home institution, a ways are being discouraged. And it's really, it's hard to predict how things yeah. are going to happen. Shifting when you were looking at applications, um, what were some of the things that really stood out to you, especially in retrospect now that you've been on the mm -hmm. other side of things, that make a good resident in terms of, trying to figure out who would be a good fit for your residency program or who would just be a good ophthalmologist in general. Yeah. Well, you know, there's, there's the objective stuff and then there's the subjective stuff. Um, I took a lot of time to read carefully the personal statements. Uh, there's the way I look at it. There's, there's the 95 percentile where it's like, Oh, this is just pretty general personal statement. And then there's like the 2.5 that, have a personal statement that actually hurts them. And then there's 2.5 that have a personal statement that is really impressive. So those that I found that had a personal statement that was really impressive, I just sort of picked out and took a look at their applications even more carefully, particularly the people who didn't have the number, the objective data to help them out and see how is, how is this person like, how is, how are these person's life experiences uh, going to make them a better candidate? And you know, I can think of one specific example, which I'm obviously not going to name, where they had they had a really compelling personal statement. And when I met them at the, the sort of borderline with the numbers, but then um, when I met the person in the interview, it was, you know, we were all sort of blown away. And, and it, you know, that person ended up matching very well, not our program, but, right. <laughs> but very, very well. Um, so yeah, I, I mean, I think, I think that has a lot to do with how you, what you, like who you are as a person and what you've experienced be, before in life. Um, and then, and then I guess just the objective data, whether you want it or not, it's, it's there, it's there to filter some people out, unfortunately, or not. 